Hi, he's Gail. He's a dirty boy. Poor girl. <laughs> and he's cleaning. Gail, I'm so much taller than you right now. <laughs> I'm looking down on you, Gail. What else is new? <laughs> Even when you're down here, you look down. <laughs> oh, Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so you're going to uh, guide me through cleaning a Maycap grinder. I am. This is the Maycap uh, uh, Doser grinder. This is the M4, I believe? Yes, it is. Okay. So first off, on these grinders, they have a, uh, a this holds the bean hopper in. Right now, we cannot take this bean hopper out. See? So you got to back this out. Oh, okay. That will screw down It's a there. stop. Yeah. And I'll show you on the other side what corresponds to it. You only have to go so far. See, it goes into that slot. Got it. If when you're putting it back together, you don't have a corresponding with the slot and you screw this in, you're going to break it. No. We've had that happen numerous times. Crack it. This can be washed. Um, I wouldn't recommend the dishwasher, but just take and wash it with hot so soapy sudsy water. Okay. Okay. Um, the inside of this, we're going to show that later how to get after this. First thing I do typically is... Take a shop vac and vacuum out the residual beans and junk. Then the other thing with this grinder is this is driven, this is our adjustment ring and you can see this is called a worm drive and this is a really fine adjustment. This is one of the nicest adjustments out there in my estimation. Mm -hmm. I love it, love it, love it. I concur. So you have to take this off so that you can take the top burr off. Allen wrench, number three, right back here. These bad boys right here and I think this knob comes off. Slippery hands. One of these comes off. Well, we'll figure that out in a minute because it pops off. Loosen this and take her right up. One of these came off. Do the other I end. I think when you took them off, it was one kind of slid off. Oh, it fell off by mistake. Yeah. <laughs> it's not maybe a... Uh, advertised feature, Gail. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm sure it's not. I would work on both ends of this. Yeah, let's see. Oh! There it goes. Across the room. Nice, Gail. Anyway, it gets out of the way of the screw. <laughs> I'll go get that in a minute. It flew into the next room. It's in the dining room. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Take that out. Take this out. I don't think this other one comes off. Okay. All right. So there they are. There's gone. the worm drive. Okay. You can clean that out as well. We have a couple of beans back here. Hey, Heidi, Heidi. Squirreled. Okay, the same as They were all. hoping not to die an unsavory death. Yeah, they're going to go. Let's go hide under the worm drive, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to go inside the vacuum and hover in there with everything else. <laughs> so, um, like most uh, grinders, this is a reverse thread. So you would go clockwise and this is going to twirl right out of here. Okay. And we noticed that when we had the the lid of, to the hopper on that little stop kicked it so you gotta yeah, take that right. lid off. Yeah, it'll hit the lid if it's sitting there, see? Yeah. We didn't notice it, Kat did. She's I was so trying smart. to include She's you again. She's so gal. smart. <laughs> Come on. So, for, for as tedious as that is coming off, this is why you have such fine tuning because of the fine threads. That's crazy. If this was a coarse thread where it had big, you know, big threads, yeah. you wouldn't get that fine tuning. Okay, you might be saved. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's your top burr, there's mm -hmm. your bottom burr. Same story as on most of these. Um, you mo you just really want to take like a wire brush and I use a brass brush because the brass bristles should one fall off they're much softer plus they they don't rust mm -hmm. just want to get everything off of this bad boy and compressed air does really well as well compressed air makes short order of this which we don't have a compressor in the kitchen but and why not you ask me because Gail doesn't like us 
We don't want to spend money on anything we don't have to. <laughs> That's what cat really means. No. <laughs> well, we don't need it in the kitchen. Nah. Not when we have a handy dandy shop back. I'm going to go like this and get everything out of the threads. And that's important too because if you kind of get this in there and you've got some grinds in there and you misthread it, it whoa, it no bad. happy, no happy, and then you got to replace this whole piece and that it would not be this piece and that piece because you and like, some grinders you room. can't do it at all. Mm -mm. You have to buy a whole new grinder. Mm -hmm. So, so the other thing I'm looking for while I'm doing this is I'm going to go like this. This one, it's starting to get a little dull. Mm -hmm. If it, it should feel really sharp when you go against the grain on these. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I don't think you're going to be able to see it on the camera, but if you see shiny spots. Yeah, I see one over by that screw. Is that one? Over here? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. That means there's a little nick in the surface, the cutting surface. Okay. You shouldn't be able to see it. a nice cutting surface that's sharp will not reflect air. Uh -oh, uh, air. air. Light. <laughs> okay. won't reflect light. Every time there's a nick, it reflects a little bit of light. So if you see reflections, yeah, there's a few here. It's not real bad. I mean, I wouldn't panic and go order some new burrs just yet. Okay. Probably 50% kind of used at this point, Gail? Yeah, uh, maybe not even that much. Okay. So in here you want to get it out of the burrs. I mean, not the, the burrs. The burrs okay. and the threads as well. How do I get at, like, I see there's some grounds down in there sort of in the middle. What's the best way for me to get at those? Take a pick. Something that's just a pointed, you know, and loosen it. Then take your shop vac, vac again or your compressed air and get in there. Okay. But just loosen it. And boy, if you've been using an oily beam, what you're going to find is this is going to be really gummy and black and it's going to stick a lot harder. You have to go after it a little more aggressively. Okay. On the surface of these two, as these go around, the ground coffee exits the burrs, comes down here, and these paddles actually pu push the ground coffee around until they get to the chute, which is right here, and then they go down. So you'll see coffee on the surface of these. You want to get that off there too. Okay. Just dislodge whatever you can. And, and then, then go out it with the, the vacuum again? Yep. I see um, right there in the threads. Is that the grounds in there? Yep. That darker color? Sure is. Thanks, Kat. Mm -hmm. well, since it was oh, facing away from you, I thought. Yeah, I can't see it. You're mm -hmm. right. Is that better? So maybe it, this is one of those things that you need to do with a friend, huh, Gail? That's right. <laughs> well, the other thing you can do on this particular machine is um, where did the screwdriver go? Here it is. <laughs> You can take, the, this is a finger guard, so you don't stick your fingers down into the threaded area. Or the, where the, uh, let's see, that's the wall. So you don't get your fingers chopped off? Uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think you chop them right off, but it sure would make grizzly meat out of them. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Brody. Look like coffee grounds. Mm. Little teeny screwdriver here. Okay. And take this off on this particular machine. Don't drop this down in there. You You'd have be to turn very the, sad. Turn the whole machine upside down to get it out. Take the finger guard out. You can wash that with soapy water as well. And see what I'm getting at. See here? This yeah. is the chute where the coffee comes out. Clumpy. It's nice to vacuum that out. can see it's a there's my clear, finger yeah see and oh, I can knock more coffee out wow there's quite a bit in that shoot there yep. um and Gail then also one thing maybe what I want to wipe out like the inside of this oh too. yeah absolutely okay. we're gonna get to that Is 
just take some sort of an all-purpose cleaner, spray a rag, and then it could even be water, but mm -hmm. the cleaner seems to get the residual oils off a little bit better. Okay. And then let it dry, obviously. Or you can wipe it down, too, with a... Uh, you might want to wipe it down to get the all-purpose cleaner out of there. Mm -hmm. Wipe it down with a just a uh, wet rag. There. Look how much nicer that looks already. Mm -hmm. And then we already... Uh, this is your adjustment for adjusting the dosing, by the way, while we're in here. Oh, so, so how much each flap doses down into your yep. porta filter? Mm -hmm. Got it. All right, so that's pretty clean. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, we got a little, a little bit up in here, but it's not—it's not horrible, you know. We can get that. I could take up your time all day long here. It's like flossing your teeth, you know. Get it all. Get the plaque off of there. Mm -hmm. Doctor Grammy. <laughs> Doctor Grammy teaching us how to take care of our teeth. <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh. So, put it back on. Make sure you don't cross-thread it. It's easy to do. Come on. As you can tell, folks, this is an easy task there. <laughs> so, oh, the other thing. See, on this side, I didn't show this side. Clean this out, too. Oh, the top part. Yep. Yeah, wipe that down real well. And the other thing you can do on these, and we, what we recommend while I'm putting this back together, is we recommend that if you're using an oily bean, use a product called Grinds, G-R-I-N-D-Z. Okay. And put it down in here, a dose of it every, oily beans, I would say every week, couple of weeks. And that's, it's just a wheat-based pellet that will clear out that, okay. And what if, I, if I'm using a drier bean, not so oily? Uh, every month and a half, two months. And then how often do I want to do this? Six to months. take it apart? Okay. I would say, again, oily beans, do it more often. A couple months. Yep. Every couple months or so. So, take it back down until it touches, until the two burrs touch it, touch each other. And you back it off a little bit. There, so I back it off a little bit. This is about where we were when we took that bean hopper off of there. Mm -hmm. Before we put, the, uh, and then what I'm going to do is gungies off of there too. You're your own can there, Gail. <laughs> you got it. Did you call me a big mouth? No. Mm -hmm. I just was saying you're full of hot air. What? <laughs> We're going to stick this back in here. There was somebody that said something about our videos and they said, you guys must have fun. I said, yeah, of course we do. We wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't fun. Right, Kat? Yeah. Yes, boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I really liked doing it with you. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, we got you. Got to have fun. I mean, come on, this is cleaning a grinder. We can't. You know, you got to make this fun. <laughs> we don't fake this stuff. Whatever it is, it is. And no two, no two takes. First take usually. That's it. Unless I drool all over myself. And yeah. Really nice happen, but not not lately. Well, we're gonna have to. We're not gonna be able to completely reassemble this because Gail's gonna have to go hunt down the uh, other knob right in, the in the dining room. room. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we'll. Uh, I'll show you that uh, later. I mean, you know, you just yeah. finish that off. Take this. This is kind of a bear to do too. Just because get the uh, get your, finger guard back. Get in. your fat hands, you know, going on. This is how I do it. Watch wow. it. Don't let it hit you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see where you're going now. See? Portly hands. And I can see yeah. see that? Somebody over-tightened the plastic on that. you got to watch out for that. Okay, give this a twirl. Get it going. Portly hands. <laughs> oh. Okay. And then I'm going to put the screw on the end of here and hope that I can line this up. Come on up here. Come on, join the party. Get that Ooh, in there. nice one, gal. Yeah. Well, oh, meow. What did I tell you about that? <laughs> what did I tell you about that? Watch. Here it comes. There, two pieces. Oh, not just one, two. <laughs> Is there another screw hanging out in there? Uh, no, I hope not. Oh, now we got it all screwed up here. It's easier for me, though, to. Stick it on here like this. I just maybe this also would be helpful with a friend. Uh -huh. But I'm holding a camera, Gail. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, there. 
you got to see the whole the line it up. That's why I didn't tighten the other side. It's easier if you if you let it so that you can. Oh, you loose. can move you it can, up a little bit. Yeah, you can see what you're doing, where you're aiming at. You're not just going blind here. All got right. that back in there. We'll go get the other. Finish doing this, and we'll get the other handle that goes on there. And basically, the only thing we got left to do after that is to put the bean hopper on. And if you want the bean hopper to lock in. You put the you there, you gotta put it. the hole down correctly. Line it up to the line little. this up to that. Dude. Screw it back in with your flat blade. Oops. Flat blade. Thank Don't you. Don't worry, Gail, I wasn't shooting that error on your part. Mm, error. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this out of the way so you can see. This is that <laughs> gate valve. I prefer these to be loose, then you can just take the bean hopper off mm -hmm. at will. Of course, we've had people in the showroom take them off at will with beans in it. Yeah, otherwise. There. Cool. All and right. The handle here, the other knob, which is on the We're other all side. Good, to go. good. Looking good. And this guy does have a little tray and stuff, so you could also wash that too. It's I mean, that's something you probably are going to yeah. be washing regularly it's anyway. Plastic just like this. It just sits yeah. under there and hooks underneath the, the foot here. All right. So that is cleaning the Maycap M4 with the uh, hopper, mm -hmm. or do the doser, sorry. Thank you. You're welcome, Gail. <laughs> no, the, the grinder said, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Gail. You're welcome, catch you later. <laughs>